Now we're going to learn how to combine items to create a scale. So for this, we're going to go to Transform Compute. So you're going to type in the name of your scale under Target Variable. This one we'll type in RHI underscore friend. Now, under Numeric Expression, I suggest combining them using a mean and then the number of items they have to have provided a score on in order to create a total. So I do, let's see, on the friend scale there's 12 items. So so long as they answered at least 11 of them, if they left one of them blank, I'll still go ahead and give them a score on that. So we'll do a mean dot 11. And that means they have to at least have scores on 11 items that are being combined for this. Now we're going to click each item put a comma in between. Come on, item. There we go. Keep going till we get to the end of our list. Now I happen to know that the eighth one is a recode, and luckily since I named it the exact same way, I can just type an R after it, it'll find the recoded item, because that variable name is the same. If you named it something else, if you named it like, you know, RHR, something that didn't follow the exact same name, then you'd have to go find that variable and put it in here. But I know that we named it exactly the same, we just added an R. So that's why I added that variable. Just keep going through our list. And then we can go ahead and add an end parens at the end. And notice down here we have that RHIF8R. So we could have just scrolled to the bottom and included that one and clicked it over. I knew that's what we we're going to need. And then at that point we're going to go ahead and again hit paste because we want to keep a record of what we're doing. So it's going to add that to our syntax file. So now it says we're going to create a mean dot 11, so long as they have scores on at least 11 of these items, it's going to create a mean of all of that. Ah, we forgot something. Let's go back. Transform Compute. If, if that scale is actually usually expressed as a total score rather than a mean on those items, then at the end we're going to take that and times it by the number of items that there were. So there are 12 items on that scale. So we're going to take that resulting mean and times it by 12. And that would give us a total score. Some scales are created as a total score, and some scales you actually do take the mean, and they're expressed on the same scale they originally were. So this was a 1 to 5 scale. Scores closer to 5 would mean strongly agree. Uh, scores closer to mean would closer to 1 would mean strongly disagree. So it depends on whether the scale is generally used as a total score or as a mean. In this case, let's go ahead and take it back to a total score by adding times 12 to the end. And again, I did 12 simply because there are 12 items on the scale. Now we'll hit paste again. We'll get rid of our original version since we don't want that. Then we're going to highlight the version. And again, we're going to find that green run button like a play button on an old cassette tape. We'll click play. Now if we go back to our data set and we go all the way to the very end of it, we have our new scale of RHI friend. We have scores of 54 and 33, etc. Some people have a very good relationship with their friends. Other people in our data set have a very low level of relationship with their friends. So it's good. We have some variability.